Just by spending additional $100, I had converted my 5 year old Intel 2nd generation Core i5 processor laptop into a gaming beast with 3 GPUs running parallelly. All thanks to Banggood.com for their external GPU dock for laptop. It works perfect for me. Follow this video carefully to connect an external graphics card to your laptop. To begin with, all you need is a laptop, a compatible graphics card, a mini GPU dock, and SMPS. If you don't have a GPU dock, you can buy it from Banggood.com. To know more information about GPU dock and compatible graphics card, watch my video on unboxing external laptop video card. You can find the link in the description. To connect the GPU dock to the laptop, we need to free the mini PCI port. Almost every laptop has an inbuilt network interfacing card connected with the mini PCI port. We will be removing the NIC to free the mini PCI port. Don't worry if losing the Wi-Fi connectivity, we can restore it by using a $5 USB dongle. Since we are going to remove the NIC, we need to uninstall all the NIC drivers, otherwise it can create hardware conflicts. If you are using a Windows operating system, go to Device Manager, then Network Adapters, then uninstall all the drivers for an NIC card. Now shut down your laptop. Now, open the back side of the laptop to remove the network interfacing card. For different laptops, the position of NIC can be different. Mostly it will be directly available once you open the back cover. Now, remove the NIC and install the mini PCI cable to connect the GPU dock. Connect a screw to the cable to make the setup stable. Now close the back cover. Connect the HDMI side of the cable to the GPU dock. This cable is a high speed data bus which connects between laptop and GPU dock. Now to power up the GPU dock, take your SMPS and find the appropriate connector for the power supply adapter which you will be getting along with the GPU dock. Once you find the appropriate ports, connect the 8 pin connector to the dock. Take your graphics card and connect it to the GPU dock. Make sure it fits perfectly. Some graphics cards require additional power supplies, which depends on the type of graphics card you use. I am using NVIDIA GTX 750Ti graphics card. Make sure your graphics card is compatible with the dock before you make the connection. If you are using an AMD graphics card, you might have to connect an external display as the laptop monitor is very unlikely to work. Now your setup is ready. It's time to turn on the system. Graphics card will turn on along with the laptop. If it is not turned on, make sure your SMPS is powered on. For safety purpose, always use a UPS. Once the system is turned on, wait for a while for the device to get detected. Now let's go and see the device manager if the device is showing up or not. You can see an additional video card in display adapters, but there is an error. This is because we haven't installed the drivers yet. Once you properly install the drivers and restart the device, everything must be working perfectly. Now let's install the drivers. You can download the latest drivers from the GPU manufacturer website and install it. Once the installation is over, restart the device. Once the system is turned on, again go to the device manager and see the display adapters. You can see there is no more errors in the device installation. In case if you face an error code 12, try to disable the dedicated graphics card in your laptop and restart the device. I had faced error code 43, error code 12, error code 32 and many other issues. I will be making separate video on how to overcome those errors. You can watch it in case if you face those errors. Now let's see the MSI afterburner if it is showing the GP properly or not. You can see all three devices are detected. We can monitor the performance and usage of individual GPU. Hope you guys have installed the GPU successfully. In case if you face any issues, feel free to ask in the comment box. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. To continue watching more videos like this, subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.